10 Most Impressive Construction Projects in Nigeria Nigeria, a country in West Africa which borders Niger in the north, Chad in the northeast, Cameroon in the east, and Benin in the west. Its southern coast is on the Gulf of Guinea in the Atlantic Ocean. Nigeria is a federal republic comprising 36 states and the federal capital territory, where the capital, Abuja, is located. Laidos, one of the largest metropolitan areas in the world, is the largest city in Nigeria and the continent of Africa. Nigeria is the largest country in both West Africa and Africa by population with a population of 211 million, while covering an area of 923,769 square kilometers. Nigeria is the world's 32nd largest country by size and the 7th largest country by population. Nigeria is one of the world's most multicultural and ethnically diverse nations. Nigeria is Africa's largest economy by nominal GDP surpassing Egypt and South Africa and is the country with the 27th highest nominal GDP. It is a lower middle-income economy, with its abundant supply of natural resources, well-developed financial, legal, communications, transport sectors, and Nigerian stock exchange. Next to petroleum, the second largest source of foreign exchange earnings for Nigeria is remittances sent home by Nigerians living abroad. The West African state continues to enjoy healthy growth to the tune of 5-6% annually, and this looks set to continue in the near future. Nigeria is also Africa's largest economy by some margin. Its GDP hit 569 billion US dollar billion in 2014, and this can be attributed to the much developments taking place in the country. With significant investment, the construction industry continues to boom. Here are of the top ongoing mega projects in Nigeria to watch in the near future. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you are missing out. 10. Second Niger Bridge the Second Niger Bridge is a key national infrastructure with immense socioeconomic benefits for the contiguous states and indeed the entire nation. Upon completion, the bridge will ease traffic flow, improve road safety, and create greater opportunities for local residents by advancing the commercial viability of the immediate area and regenerating economic life. The scope of works include the construction of 1.6 kilometers long bridge 10.3 kilometers highway, Ori interchange and a toll station all in Abosi city expected to be completed in the year 2022. The bridge was initiated under the administration of Goodluck Jonathan and is being sustained by President Nwamadu Buhari. The bridge is being constructed across Nigeria's Niger River and it will span from Asaba to Azibulu and Ogbaru areas. The project is being developed through a public-private partnership PPP involving Julius Berger. 9. 8 World Trade Center Abuja The World Trade Center is a complex of eight buildings under construction in the Central Business District of Abuja, federal capital territory in Nigeria. There are seven skyscrapers planned for the site, two of which have already been topped out, with the others either under construction or at various stages of development. At 110 meters, the 24-floor World Trade Center Tower 1, which topped out in 2015 is the tallest residential building in Nigeria, while World Trade Center Tower 2 is the tallest building in Abuja, standing at 120 meter. The complex is being funded by private financial institutions, as well as private investors, costing about 200 billion naira. It is being developed by First Intercontinental Properties Limited, a subsidiary of the Church Eight Group, a Nigerian real estate company, and the project was designed by Woods Bagot. 8. Abuja Millennium Tower The Millennium Tower and Cultural Center project is one of the many projects in the central district of Nigeria's capital city of Abuja. At 170 meters, the tower would be the tallest structure in Nigeria.
The tower was designed by Manfredi Nicolti and is part of the Nigerian National Complex, which includes the Nigeria Cultural Center and Municipal Building. Construction started in 2006. The 170-meter tower will be Nigeria's tallest structure when completed along with an eight-story, low-rise, pyramid-shaped cultural center. 7. World Trade Center 1 billion US dollar. The World Trade Center project is a partnership between the Federal Capital Territory Administration and the First Continental Properties Limited, a subsidiary of Churchgate Investment Limited. This will be the first such center in West Africa, joining 323 other locations in 89 countries worldwide in the World Trade Center network. The construction site sits on 6,102 hectares of land along the Constitution Avenue in the central business area that is located at the center of the city of Abuja. It will be a multi-use complex that will comprise of luxury high-rise office towers, luxury residence apartments, conference facilities, shopping malls and entertainment facilities. The first stage required to be building of two 24-story towers, one commercial and one residential, which will be joined by future structures such as a 37-story hotel and a shopping mall. 6. Lighthouse Light Rail 1.12 billion US dollar to 30 billion US dollar. Lighthouse Light Rail is a light rail system, the first of its type in this region of Africa, is envisaged to eventually consist of seven lines, red, blue, green, yellow, purple, brown, and orange. The scheme is approximately 35 km in length with an estimated ridership of a minimum of 500,000 passengers per day. The blue line is now being built by China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation CSEC, and will run 27.5 km from Marina to Akakameko, with 13 stations. Lagos State is financing construction of the blue line from its own resources. 5. Lecky Free Trade Zone 1.2 billion US dollar. Lecky Free Trade Zone covers a total area of about 30 square kilometers with 27 square kilometers for urban construction purposes, which would hold a total of 120,000 residents, approximately 50 kilometers from the city center of Lagos, the economic capital of Nigeria. Lecky Free Trade Zone borders Lecky Ladum in the north and faces the Atlantic in the south. Lecky Free Trade Zone designed to integrate industries, commerce and business, real estate development, warehousing and logistics, tourism and entertainment, etc. A considerable number of construction works will be carried out in the commercial and logistics park, including the International Commodities and Trade Center, the International Exhibition and Conversation Center, industrial factories, office buildings, hotels and residential apartment buildings. The commercial and logistics park on the long runs is expected to serve as the logistics and distribution center of Chinese products in West Africa and represent a service demonstration base for the entire Lecky Free Trade Zone. Four, Abuja Gateway Airport. The Abuja Gateway Airport has been designed to be a stunning solar-powered gateway that will have the shape of the traditional Nigerian bow harp. The design connects the new Abuja Airport to the central area on the opposite side of the freeway and comes complete with green roofs, giant solar canopy and bricks made from local laterite clay. Aelic Architects' design symbolizes the weaving together of the country's many different people. The sweeping gateway brings together the city of Abuja's modern atmosphere with the cultural heritage of Nigeria as a whole. The plan features an amphitheater in public space with a photovoltaic canopy to provide power and shade visitors from the sun. A green roof covers nearby buildings making them melt into the surrounding greenery. 3. Mambilla Hydroelectric Power Project 5.8 billion US dollar. As Nigeria looks to boost its energy production to match the needs of its booming economy and population, the government has finally invested into making the Mambilla Hydroelectric Power Project a reality. The 5.8 billion US dollar project will connect to three dams across the Donga River in Taraba State, eventually generating a total installed capacity of 3,050 megawatts of electricity. 
The project was later reviewed and total capacity of the Mambilla project has been revised downward from 3,050 megawatts to 1,525 megawatts as the review would save Nigeria 1 billion US dollar from the project. This will go a long way to take care of the need of Nigeria's growing population and economy. 2. Eco-Atlantic Finally, Nigeria has its own smart city, mega-project called Eco-Atlantic. This new coastal city is being built on Victoria Island adjacent to Lagos, Nigeria. It is a focal point for investors capitalizing on rich development growth based on massive demand and it's a gateway to emerging markets of the continent. The proposed Eco-Atlantic is expected to accommodate at least 250,000 residents of the city on the project completion. The Eco-Atlantic project extending over 9 square kilometers and is also expected to have positive effects in restoring and protecting the state shoreline. At 7 kilometers and 40 meters wide, the island's walkway will be the longest in the world. 1. Light Us Calabar Railway 11 billion US dollars. The project involves the construction of a 1,402 km railway line between Lagos and Calabar in Nigeria. The 11,300 billion US dollars project is one of Africa's most ambitious projects. The rail project will link Lagos in the west to Calabar in the east, while also connecting the cities of Port Harcourt, Uyo, and Abao along the way. It includes the construction of railway platforms, 22 stations including ancillary facilities, administrative space, level crossings, and the installation of safety systems, electrical systems, lighting systems and signaling systems, and the laying of tracks and electricity line. The project is planned to be developed in two phases. The first phase will run between Calabar and Port Harcourt, while the second phase will run between Port Harcourt and Lagos via Onitsha. The project is moving slow pace due to delay in obtaining finance, but once completed, this transportation network will significantly enhance the movement of goods and services across the region. 3. After watching this video, I hope you see the potential Africa passes, so be a proud African and work each day to make your continent a better place. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications so as not to miss out on any of our amazing videos on Africa, entrepreneurship and personal development. Help our channel grow.